<laughs> There's a great sense of humour and enjoyment on the set. He seems to enjoy everything so much, and that relaxes everybody. He really loves making movies, and he gets excited about it. And seeing him get excited about it makes you excited about it. Turn over! 144, Apple, take six. Action! The film features a number of action set pieces. We've done a hell of a lot of action. We've got all kinds of sword fighting. We have a fantastic sequence down in the church. And we'll be flying another guy out through the window. Sir, you're not dead. Not yet. It's a really brutal, really physical, really intense movie. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. One of the most complex scenes was a coach chase through the western woods. The horseman is chasing Ichabod, Katrina, and young Masfat through the forest, which we built on the stage. The scene would take three weeks to shoot. Planning for the numerous stunts began several months earlier when the horses went into training. This is Daredevil. This is the lead horse. And we've got two of these that we've purchased from Seville in Spain. And they're just in the process now of having all the tricks taught them, the rears, the lay down, the gallop on the spot, and everything else. It takes two years to train horse properly for a film. But these boys are good. They've got brains, these Spanish horses. They're good to work with. Somebody rehearse. Several coaches were designed specifically for the film, each with a different purpose. I've had to build four different coaches. The Hero one's got brakes and it's got steering inside. We beef all the suspension up, we've made roll cages in it. And then there's the stunt one, there's the pyro one, and then there's the crashing one. Out of five, actually, there's one on the back of a flatbed truck so we can actually put the artists on it and have them run up and down the set. The range of stunts would include sword play, coach transfers, and elaborate falls. And then a bit of that wobbling thing with a leg over. Nick Gillard, the stunt coordinator, is just fantastic. What's great about him is that he has a great sense of humor, and he allows that to sort of creep into his stunts. Ichabod! He's been knocked off the top of the coach and lands on the horseman's horse, but he lands on it the wrong way around. It's the kind of stuff that the audience would be riveted to, and then something happens that's very funny. It's got a real life to it. For Depp, the most physically demanding part of the sequence occurred after he is thrown from the coach. They said, take hold of this strap of leather and the horses are gonna drag you, you know. Here we go! We don't want anything to happen to Johnny, so we put him in, like, bulletproof body armor underneath his costume. Um, we tie him on, but through a quick release system, just in case anything goes wrong, he can release himself. Stand by! Turn over! Action! It wasn't a problem being dragged by horses. The only thing I was slightly leery of was that they might, you know, sort of relieve themselves on the, on the journey. If you are wise, you will leave this place. We are dealing with a madman. Sleepy Hollow is a combination of horror, nightmare, and humor. Good look, sir. You need me help, you call my name. Much appreciated. It's tongue-in-cheek, at the same time scary. Horseman! There's action, and there's romance, and the darkness, and the spookiness of a great old horror film. You got everything you need here. Whatever you hear, keep away. It's fun to work on something that inspired you your whole life. No! The power of fairy tales, folk tales, and horror movies is that if they're working, they hit you on an emotional level, and the best thing that could come out of it is sort of a great haunted feeling that's strong and remains with you. 